This week, one particular detail spotted by HXL on Twitter made quite a bit of news. It was the listing of AMD Strix laptops for a July 15th launch, which is notable because that's around two weeks before the expected launch of the desktop models is supposed to occur. Although, honestly, at first when I saw that, I shrugged and said, yeah, I don't know, maybe Strix is launching first, but how real is this launch? Will it have a lot of volume? Will there be more than a few models? After all, well, Hawkpoint, for example, did seem to have a legitimate amount of volume launched in quarter one, like AMD promised it would. I'd argue it wasn't until late in quarter one that it had a decent amount of volume, and really even until early quarter two. And if we want to go before Hawkpoint, I mean... Meteor Lake really didn't have any volume until like a few months ago, m way after the supposed launch date in December. And Phoenix and Rembrandt, they were even worse. They took half a year or more to really start showing up everywhere in a serious way. And because of all of those examples, I don't really put much stock into laptop chip launch dates until, well, until I've had time to speak with some of my sources at retailers, distributors, and even sometimes at AMD or Intel or Qualcomm, I guess, and here, is this real? Will people actually be able to buy this? Or is it more like they'll be able to buy it a month after you said it's launched? And the good news for Strix would-be hopeful buyers I'm hearing that this thing actually will have a real launch in the middle of July, and maybe the biggest launch AMD's ever had to laptops in their company's history. But before I get to that leak, just to set the stage for comparative purposes, I do want to touch on what I'm hearing so far about X Elite's launch that was supposed to have happened this week. Now, if I put these quotes on screen here, you can see that my first source, which is from a major US retailer, said that they did have some Snapdragon laptops in the back room at the location this person worked at at launch, but at least at their location, they didn't put them on the floor right away, and that was very weird, and this person hasn't ever seen them do that before. The only explanation they can come up with is that they didn't expect much interest in the X Elite, and so there was no rush to put it out until they would prepare for weekend sales, which they are doing that now, and they think that it was probably the right call because nobody supposedly, at least at this location, came in and asked for an X Elite on launch day. And as of like this hour, maybe a handful have sold so far, which is below what you would expect with a big new flashy launch with a ton of push behind it from multiple OEMs, including Microsoft. Now, the second source who works at a major retailer, the huge online presence, said that they expected to have excellent laptops at launch, which, remember, was Tuesday, but it wasn't until today, Friday, that they finally had some out for sale. In fact, this person said that they don't have that many of them, and they don't expect to even have that improve until July, and that when it comes to sales, it's mediocre to bad. It is selling at a trickle now that they finally have them days after they were supposed to get them, and this person compared this launch very closely to the paper meteor like launch that happened last December. Now, the final source here said, and this person is very high up and has connections higher up at Qualcomm, can't say more than that, said that they don't know yet how you should summarize how the X Elite is selling, but that they will say that they are hearing that upper management at Qualcomm isn't satisfied with how things are going so far, and that there may even be some changes to the product management team this year. And that's all I and this person would say for now. We're not willing to say it's dead on arrival. We're not willing to say that heads will roll just yet, but it is starting to look like it could go in that direction. And when you combine that with the fact that if you just look around online, at least on Best Buy, most models that I am seeing here can't be picked up right away, suggesting that they really have not arrived yet there like another one of my sources said behind the scenes. And if I check Micro Center, not every store has every model. And I'm not hearing that they're flying off the shelves, which would suggest that there just isn't a consistent amount of supply for each model at every Micro Center. And so, yeah, you see why I showed this XE lead information first. I know that Qualcomm keeps parroting that they are the first Copilot Plus laptop to be launching. But from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing online, this launch is no better than that paper launch Meteor Lake had in December of last year, and the volume, it isn't expected to improve for another month, so effectively, I would make the argument that the X Elite isn't launching before Strix, not in a real way, and in fact, I think they should have held back the launch to polish it better based on what I'm hearing about how hard AMD is about to go with Strix, which I'm going to leak that Strix information to you now after a word from a sponsor. 
This piece of content is brought to you by the Basis 67 watt and 100 watt power combo mini modular chargers, the world's first compact detachable power strips. They can be used as a simple USB-C wall charger or also a power strip due to having a five foot extension cord, but you can remove that portion and use it as a basic AC charging cube as well. And that charging cube is flexible, especially when plugged into the extension cord. In total, it has three USB-C ports, a USB-A port, and in conjunction with an additional full AC port, Port, you can power up to five devices simultaneously and you can even save one of the five AC ports and add more chargers and with its upgraded GAN6 technology with wide compatibility it can powerfully charge things quickly even being able to charge a MacBook to 42% uh, with the 67 watt version or to 54% with the 100 watt version both of those in 30 minutes and rest assured it supports thousands of devices including laptops smartphones and earbuds so if you're interested and you want to support the channel click the link in the description and follow the directions below to get the best deal on these devices at amazon until june 30th clicking on the links below helps by itself and using any offer codes listed helps the channel even more and it saves you money so support Moore's law is dead by checking out the basis power combo mini modular chargers today all right now let's not waste any time let's get right in to the zen 5 strix early supply leak now this first source here is somebody who has been essential to all of my most legendary launch volume and supply leaks this is someone that i really do swear by now unfortunately they told me that they don't have any specific numbers just yet whether that means exact amount of volume launching per region nor comparatively like this percent more than a previous launch what this person can tell me now is that they expect Strix to be AMD's biggest laptop launch in the company's history from what they are being told by their contacts and that it's likely that we will have real supply in the middle of July and that we should expect tons of supply in August that AMD genuinely will be ready for back to school sales and be ready in a way that we've never seen the company be ready before. Now the second source here, this person told me works in a major retailer from what they are seeing in the company system, Strix is launching July 15th in the United States, and it actually is a real launch, not a paper launch, that they think in week one of sales, Strix will have the supply that Hotpoint had a month after its launch, meaning like, you know, end of March or April Hotpoint supply when it really did start showing up everywhere. That's how Strix should be week one and by the time we get into august it should probably be like how hotpoint is now if not better amd genuinely has a ton of volume coming for this thing although there are two caveats this person told me that they are not seeing any models with a dedicated gpu better than a 4070 so at least in the first month of sales if those do exist like a 4080 laptop with strix probably be pretty rare and additionally most of the supply in july seems to be going to asus and so there's some huge deal going on here with asus asus isn't pairing anything above a 4070 at least from what we can tell so far with strix and so if you want 4090 models or a ton of options from other oems you might have to wait until august but if you're okay with buying asus apparently there's going to be a boatload of supply in july and so there you go. Well, I don't have the full picture yet, and I probably won't until about a week before launch. Make sure you subscribe to the Moore's Laws at YouTube channel, actually, so you don't miss that video. I think now, not one week, but three weeks before launch, I can already conclude that at a minimum, in the United States, AMD is going to have more volume at launch than I think they've ever had before in their history. And that certainly by August, there's going to be a decent amount of strict supply. And you will, if you're waiting to get a new laptop for back to school or something, you will actually be able to get it for back to school. It won't be a paper launch. And I think that's really exciting. But then I also have to say that after what I've seen from the mixed opinions about the Qualcomm launch, I really think the X Elite should have launched a month later that Microsoft should have pushed Strix in the high end and the X Elite in the mid range and low end as co copilot plus launch products so that Qualcomm could polish the software better and so that they didn't put out stuff that was unfinished like I'm not, I'm not stupid I get why they did it 
Microsoft is using the x in some of their products. They probably wanted early sales before AMD-powered competitors come out. Well, at the same time, well, same thing. That's what Qualcomm would have wanted. But I just don't think it's a good look. And with these really unfinished Qualcomm laptops out there now, I just think it's going to make Strix look good. And, and I don't think you, you know, you can only make a first impression once. And I just think it would have been better to... Take the L, accept that you can't charge $1,200 for an X-E-Leak product next to a similarly priced Strix product, charge less, not put the most insane specs in it, and launched it later. But actually, when it comes to specs and pricing, one more thing that I wanted to do for this video was look into if Strix really costs more than the X-E-Leak, because that will tell us long term how the competition is going to go down, because you can jack up the prices on the initial launch and try to convince people to buy stuff. But long term, who can really win a price war here? And what I did is I actually looked at the most expensive Qualcomm, the most expensive Strix, and then the least expensive of both on Best Buy's website. Sorry if I missed some other one, but this is what I'm seeing were the most and least expensive one. And then I put them with their specs in to an Excel chart here, just to give you a comparison. And as you can see, yes, the cheapest Strix is more expensive than the cheapest X Elite. Yes, the most expensive Strix laptop is more expensive than the most expensive X Elite laptop I found on Best Buy's website. But at the same time, I think you're getting way more than the extra you're paying. If you look at the cheaper offerings here, you can see that AMD is adding at least another $30 of RAM, at least another $30 of storage, and undoubtedly a more expensive display. And so I would honestly wager that this suggests the AI9365 is only marginally more expensive than the X Elite if anything, despite it clearly going to be wildly faster than the X-Elite at just about everything. Now, for the top-end laptop, I actually think it's even worse when we look at it in terms of how X-Elite looks here. AMB's laptop has at least another $40 of RAM. Yep, I'm counting GDDR6. Why wouldn't I? You are saving some RAM usage if you have a dedicated graphics card here, which you don't even get with this over $2,000 X-Elite product. Then you're also getting another $80 at least of storage. And I would argue probably a more expensive display, although they might cost a similar amount. You know, one of them has it double the frame rate. The other one's slightly higher resolution, but they're both OLED. And, you know, again, there is a Lovelace graphics card included in this laptop. This comparison to me suggests that AMD isn't selling their Strix laptops very much more than the x -Elite. I mean, $40 more of RAM, $80 more of storage. A graphics card is included in there, and the screen has double the refresh rate. I, I think it's probably a wash. Even accounting for the surface tax, I can't help but conclude looking at this data that AMD is probably charging $50 more at most for Strix compared to the X Elite. And that's a big problem for Qualcomm because if AMD can price their stuff, even sometimes apparently with a graphics card for a similar price to an X Elite, I do not see how they're going to manage to sell these long term. At the bottom end, the integrated graphics and processor with Strix are way better than what is in the X Elite. And at the top end, you can apparently get a graphics card with it. So then you have to consider Hotpoint, which I know AMD acted like it was a premium product when it first come out, came out. But just like I leaked, it was always going to be pushed down once Strix came out. And we're already seeing that. Uh, Hotpoint, which has about the same performance as the X Elite and sometimes similar battery performance, that product right there is becoming a $900 laptop APU, where the cheapest X Elite I can find right now on Best Buy is $1,200. And so there's no way around it. I am doubling down on this conclusion here. I think AMD is selling Hawkpoint for the same, if not less, money than the X Elite, and they're selling Strix for slightly more than the X Elite APU. And that if you look at the Strix laptops costing more, it's mostly just because they have better specs. And if Qualcomm wants the X Elite to actually succeed and start selling, I think they're going to have to put it in far, far, far cheaper laptops very soon. And they don't have much time because, as I just told you, Strix is shipping now, and it is shipping in way higher volume than I think most people are expecting. Well, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to share it, to like it, to comment down below for the algorithm and discuss what I've just put out here today. I mean, I think it is an interesting conversation to be had, but also make sure you subscribe to the Moore's Laws at YouTube channel and consider joining the Patreon. If you join, you can not just discuss in the YouTube comments, but you can discuss with me and thousands of other patrons who would love to talk about all of this with you right now 
now on the Discord. And actually, if you join now, even at the lowest tier, you'll be able to ask us questions for the next Broken Silicon. High Yield is coming on again. We have so much to talk about when it comes to Lunar Lake, Strix, Zen 5, Arrow Lake, and so on and so forth. And I don't think you'll want to miss being able to interact with the guest for that next episode. But you know what? No matter what, if you made it this far, at a minimum, thank you for watching.